Hey, everybody. Hey. I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? You want to I'm John. <laughs> I'm Elliot. I'm Sabrina. And today from the Xbox Live, we're actually starting off the Banjo-Kazooie series. Why do I do the N64 version? Because fuck, no collecting. <laughs> Did you just say the Xbox Live? Yeah, because um, uh, here's the thing. Originally, we're at, when Matt when we brought this uh Matt did want to do the N64 version, but then there was a quality of life update for the Xbox Live version of the game that had to do what it's Can you explain that? You know the 100 coin missions? I never played Banjo Kazooie, so. Now I'm saying, like, do you know 100 coins? Uh, yeah. And uh, you know how if you die, you have to collect all 100 again for the star? Yeah. In this game, you need notes to progress on throughout uh, the main dungeon of the game. Yeah. And if you die, you lose, you have to recollect the notes every time. This here prevents that by saying, hey, you got the notes? You ain't got to do that twice. So it's notes. If you want to collect the note, is yours permanently. Yes. Basically. Yes. That and that's sounds, one thing alone yeah, is what I wanted. That actually sounds really nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, these Chuck E. Cheese mascots over here. We got Banjo Kazooie, that skull looking fucker is Mumbo, and the little girl over there is Tootie, who makes an impression of one game and then is kicked off for the rest of them. <laughs> which one's Banjo, which one's Kazooie? The Banjo's the bear, Kazooie's the bird. Okay. As you can do on top of the instruments they're playing. And that's Tootie, go figure. Meanwhile. So okay, so I've I've heard it I've heard it time and time again. If you were an N sixty four kid, this was your perennial platformer. Yes. One of like them, next yeah. to sixty like Mario sixty four. This was the game you were spending a lot of time on. You know, so if you were either uh, you either Crash Bandicoot or Banjo, I was Crash Bandicoot. Yep. And I, so I have to ask then, like, was I missing out m skipping this? No. Like, do you feel? Or, 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 like, let me put it like this. I enjoyed it, but you don't like scavenger hunts, and this game is scavenger hunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what about you, Sabrina? Because you played this game. I've played. Uh I played the first two, and I'm not gonna touch the third one. But um, <laughs> that's that nuts and bolts, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's also Grunty's Revenge on the GBA, which I completely yeah. forget about every time it comes out. What yeah, I never owned it. So uh, I, I never you said, when it. you said the third one, I, I thought you were talking ukulele. No. <laughs> uh, but then no, there's, there's actually an, another game on the 360. So this is Gruntilda. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she's got as much as much classes while I do in a church. Do you like Yoda? <laughs> Yeah, she rhymes all the time. She speaks like Yoda, yeah. So she speaks like Yoda and she it does? rhymes. She just yeah. rhymes. Yoda doesn't Yoda. rhyme. No, Yoda doesn't rhyme, no. Yeah, but her, no, her rhymes kind of no, sound I'm like I'm Yoda, Yoda she rhymes. The, 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 the Yoda's dialogue would be way more insufferable if he rhymed every single word he said, in addition to having the backwards speak. And guess that's what she's doing. That she's just rhyming. She don't speak like Yoda. So basically, Gruntilda's being tired of being fat, ugly, and green. <laughs> She's 2D for the youth formula and says, hey, you know what? That's my youth. So she wants to make a, a fountain. She wants like to make her own fountain of youth to begin young again. Yeah, or at least then enhance them. Like, well, just beautiful in general. Just beautiful in general. And, yeah, you know and, what? Okay. And to the game's credit, her plan works because if you fuck up and get a game over, you witness the whole thing, and she looks good when she's done. <laughs> <laughs> like no shit. We're talking. So is who it the really, fuck are you? It's like, really a it's bad a, ending. It's like it's like literally I tap. <laughs> it's bad. It's a bad. En <laughs> it's a bad ending for everybody not named Gruntilda. <laughs> So what is she gonna like? Like just kidnap Tootie? Basically? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That there is bottles. He's gonna be our tutorial guy, which I'm gonna need for this version because I have not touched the Xbox 360 version. <laughs> yeah, this is your first time <laughs> playing the 360 version. So, uh, oh, I mean, hopefully it's smooth sailing. I do love the 360 controller. Yeah, it does feel mighty comfy on the hands. It I'll really give does. That. One of the best controllers ever made. I will defend that to my grave. Or except for the I do have a 360 on my own now. I just never got a chance to download it for like. Ex week. Except for the D-pad. No, the D-pad blows ass. I want this. Yeah, the, there's 360 in general. The, the D pad sucks. One of the worst. One of the worst. One of the most comfortable grips. Oh, the irony. Yeah, well, a couple of grips. Yeah. It's come with some sort of sacrifice. Be too much uh, positive karma if I had a magnificent D pad as well. If I only had a force feedback copies. She's not flying by her magical power. She's just farting all over the place. Yeah. So, <laughs> fart propulsion. Yeah, fart propulsion. That's I why the green, it. that's why it's green. So everybody speaks in like Animal Crossing, uh, Animal Knees. Yeah, really. Oh, yep. <laughs> animal Knees. <laughs> okay. I, I was thinking more. I was thinking more Goofies. Goofies. Oh, can you wink into my eyes? <laughs> Wake me up. Oh God. No. So Kazooie just lives in a bag. Yeah, she can't. Yeah, at least in this game. The second game, they actually gain the ability to split up, and it's a lot more better for them. <laughs> they mm -hmm. learn to be independent. Because <laughs> <Right? laughs> we finally got a job of her Reaching own. Reaching the first step of adulting. <laughs> Meanwhile, Banjo just completely sleeps through his sister's abduction. Great brother. I mean, that's me. I'm probably you slept through okay, your sister's good. abduction. Got a good, 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 Elliot. If you ever get a heart attack, God forbid. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, sleep right through it. Yeah, just sleep right through it. But, like, I have a heart attack dead in my sleep. Sabrina's like, oh, what should I get for breakfast? <laughs> get up, Ellie. You're not sleeping through this one. All right. And when did you learn to sleep with your eyes open? Oh, no. This ain't my highest jump. You can jump a lot higher if you skip the tutorial, but since, like I said... This is a Let's Play, and I have not touched the 360 version, so we're going to have to go with it. So, I mean, obviously, besides the increased clarity on the graphics, which, I mean, could be a detriment, and depending on your viewpoint, because you can see every polygon, you can clearly tell. Yeah, this is, next to, this is the N64 This is game. totally N64. Uh, yeah. But uh, I hear that the, 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 the 360 version, the Xbox version, in just in general, doesn't have as much lag as right. the, uh, the original. That was, like I said, that was because of the, the technology of the time, and especially yeah. when they did with the cartridges. Yeah. Hey, so which, yeah, which is why I, w I won't give I won't give the original version too much shit because obviously Banjo as, as a game back then was really fucking good looking at the time. Right. Uh, and even then, it, it, it ages better now than like most because realistic games. Because you're not looking games. for the uh, Because now you're not judging today's graphics by tomorrow's well, graphics. Well, not even that. I, I feel. I personally route. think a cartoonish aesthetic just ages better than say Tomb Raider, like 1995. Yeah. Ooh. You know, which is like cone tits. <laughs> cone tits is only part of it. Cone titties. Yeah. But you know, it looks great back then. Ugh, today. I right. can't. I can't believe her tits are one polygon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Poor Ellie got the water wake-up call when booze were more than that. The problem, though, with games like, especially the rare stuff in the N64, is that they look great, tank the fucking frame rate. We saw it with Conquer, yeah, yeah. Uh, which we played a few years ago You'll for this channel. You'll see it in Donkey Kong 64 whenever I get to that 700 oh, good. I, Yeah, I, I hear that as well. And that is, um, that, that game was never re-released, right? It no. was recently. Wait, what was, was it? That? Uh, Virtual Arcade, I believe. Uh, virtual console for the Wii U. For the Wii U? Wii U? Oh, the Wait, which for, the, for the Wii U, I, uh, maybe. I'm not sure. So Wait. maybe it runs better there. Wait, um, which game? Uh, Donkey Kong 64. 64? Uh, yeah, I think it was Virtual Console. Okay. All right, so basically now I got to hold the right left bumper to keep the camera. This is your basic, your basic camera control, which is all right on average. I don't ever have too much of an issue with Conquer. Conquer. <laughs> <laughs> I know you play one game, you play the bowl. I like how your backwards, like, rewind sound sounded like Animal Knees and Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a problem with James Bond. I mean, Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got GoldenEye game starring Banjo-Kazooie. Here's our combat training. The, I actually played this for, like, the first time, like, on the N64, like, when I met Sabrina. Yeah. But I also managed to get myself the Rare Replay, which came with both ba with Banjo, Kazooie, Tui, and Nuts and Bolts. And they're all based on the Xbox Live version. Yes. Right. Yes. I can hold B to, like, A to, like, speed it up. Okay, that's cool. All right, so basically, you get, um... Yeah, that's our first enemy. I have eyes. And, by the way, you're, you get a bear swipe. It's just to start off with, and it sucks right out the gate. The bear swipe, bear attack. Does the carrot even fight back? I mean, no, it's, it's it can if you bump into it. So it does have contact damage. Yeah. I want some moves. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some moves. Uh, what am I talk to? Let me move. All right. Please. <laughs> Maybe I have to punch another carrot. Punch the other carrot. Oh, there's another carrot came out. My bad. I just heard, I just heard it too. Yeah, you just barely hear it bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Bear Swipe sucks. They get rid of it in Tui for just a quick pack attack. This is going to be the main attack Banjo's going to be using. Yeah, that's fine. I was like, I want to learn how to fly now. Don't you already know? I live in a bag. I'm a bird. I feel like a traitor to my race. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> Are you rolling? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't even realize. And this is the better attack because I can actually move and hit things. Yeah, I don't know anyone that's done the bear swipe. <laughs> <laughs> they only do the bear swipe when they have to learn it here, and that's it. Or they do this attack, which I'm about to use, the rat attack. The rat attack rat. Jump, B. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I ain't learned the better jumping abilities yet. Yeah, because it looks like you could just barely reach that thing with that attack. So what, you can get a, a higher jump? You do basically. get a higher jump and do the jump training. And this here is our first honeycomb. You get uh, six of these, you get another uh, piece of health. Uh, permanent upgrade? Yeah. Cool. I believe it a little medley to go with it. And it talks in his eyes. <laughs> everything yeah, has thing, eyes. Yeah, everything in this world has eyes and uh, mouths. Now we learn some other attacks here. So if you were running to like sentient eyeballs and mouths, would they have their own eyeballs and mouths? They would have everything, and you everything? would kill them all. Everything? Hmm. Very Cthulhu esque. It totally is when you think about it long enough. Hold right or left trigger to press X for the beak barge. 
Okay, so which one? Okay, all right. So my um, trigger buttons are up there. So down, B, bam. And we just took a life of a boulder. So let me ask and this again. now then, uh, for you two specifically, because you played these games. What do you? What game do you think aged better in this generation? Would you say Banjo is the better pickup or Conquer? Conquer or Banjo and Tui. Two is fine. The weird thing is, though, is that from a cultural, pers from a history perspective, it's kind of weird. This game was thought to have dated out Mario 64. Yeah. Because this game gave you so much more to do. But then if you look at it today, it's reversed. Mario 64 aged better and is still finally remembered by a lot, whereas Banjo-Kazooie gets lumped in with rare subsequent collectathon platformers. So it's so it's long in the tooth. Is that right. the, like, the go-to concern? I think so, yeah. Yeah. You still can't learn how to fly yet. You're, you're not going to get that for another two worlds. Fuck me. Here's the thing, though. I'm not inherently against collectathons. I think they can be. They're just they fine and done, be. right? And, and you know, at the same time, you're also, you know, just getting your money's worth. I also just learned how to climb trees. There is a, you, you know, <laughs> there's there's more to go around, and you're you're certainly got your your you got your hands full with what you have to collect. Uh, the thing is, is that I think rare. From what, from my perspective, again, I say this without playing any of the games, so I realize this opinion might change once I get some hands-on experience sometime later down the road. W what I hear from what people tell me is that by Donkey Kong 64, they sort of like rested on their laurels and just said they overdid it. They overdid it. Yeah. They uh, understatement of the year, but they fucking overdid it. I just learned how to swim thanks to this. It's like people really like when people collect stuff. Why don't uh, we just increase that tenfold? Tenfold or a hundredfold? I said tenfold. I hit the zero button twice. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think, Sabrina? Have you, have you played Conquer? Um, I've actually played Conquer recently right. on stream. Okay, that's on Bound by Games. <laughs> bondage by Games. <laughs> bound by Games? No, I, I definitely heard Bondage. Like, by games. I can go back to Banjo more. <laughs> I after playing Conquer once, is like, you know what? I just want to play Banjo Kazooie again. <laughs> to get the Let one. Banjo say fuck. <laughs> <Let> <laughs> banjo say fuck. <laughs> but um, I actually like uh, Banjo Kazooie more. If there's than any, uh, if there's any creature in this game that's gonna yell fuck, it's probably gonna be Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck. And like that too. But uh, Banjo Kazooie is my favorite out of the first two. What does Tui do different than Kazooie? A lot. A lot. Yeah. You're physically to streamline. Yeah, but basically you don't lose any of the abilities you had in your older game. You just get more abilities, an actual proper sequel. So it's like a proper continuation. Right. Going from Arkham City from Arkham Asylum, basically. Uh, yeah. Pretty much exactly, yeah. Unless you've forgotten anything in the Arkham Asylum, you can do it in City. There's my higher jump. So then just go wall. Yeah, he's not going to... Oh, go okay, you're not letting through into you trying to learn how to right. do it. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses? Was he Damn. Does he have lice? Probably. He is a mole. scratching himself. He hey. was underground. I get, oh, he probably has ants. Now the flat flip. Duck, press A. And we're going to be making use out of that one, all right? So that's basically his uh, back flip? Yeah, the super jump. Yeah. Now that we've gotten all the training abilities, we can go into the castle. But we also still have to get the remaining honeycomb pieces. There's three more, right? I believe so, yeah. Now no, two. two. And they're all in this general area? Yeah. yeah. You're, you, you always go into Grunny's lair with six unless you can't find one of them. So you'd like to go... So you'd like to, like, extend your health bar before you're heading into the next Oh, absolutely. Area. Yeah, I, I'm kind of the same way. If I know that there's uh, collectibles I can get then and now, then I just go for them. Right. The only thing is, uh, there's one in the trees I got to get to, too, but I needed the flat flip to reach it, I believe, once I climb up. Do you have a long jump? Uh, no. Just for, like, faster movement? Your tech, your long jump idea is basically how far Kazooie's going to carry you, like yeah. this. That's the way it's like a hover. Yeah, light hover. In a way. It's a very light hover. Yeah. In other words, once Kazooie, but Kazooie will eventually stop flapping, like, fuck this, I'm tired. Yeah, he's like, he's almost well, trying to, she's a little bear trying to carry a bear. <laughs> and she's carrying a bear. I think it's oh, the it's bear, over there. bear that plays the banjo. And I have to say, that's just super impressive. That the cauliflower completely blows up like that? No, no, I'm just saying a bear that plays the banjo. Yeah, and as opposed to eating me Name alive. banjo. <laughs> Wait, didn't... Fall didn't, damage is a thing in this game, by the way. Didn't yeah. Yogi Bear play banjo? Yogi Bear played picnic basket. As if that's an instrument, but no, I'm pretty One, sure. I'm pretty sure he two. played an instrument. Uh, Yogi three. Bear. Honestly, I'm and too distracted. There's but there. uh, there's always something behind the wall. So. Yeah, that's just an extra life. Yeah, Banjo, Banjo Kazooie has a life system. I don't like it, but you know, that's just this game in particular. Well, Tui could do this was away with it. This was before mm -hmm. the time where lives were just pointless. So. But Tui didn't have it. Oh, okay, so okay. by the second game. Like, yeah, you know and what? let me tell you, this game is one of those you're really going to feel it when you fucking lose a life. Is it easy to get lives in this game? Um, honestly, not really. Not really? Okay. Mm. <laughs> 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 I got 
for me. Hey, I go look at me. Next game. I'm an extra life. <laughs> <laughs> and the God Oscar, forbid. Can you imagine? Oscar the, goes to. Can you imagine a turd with eyes and mouth that talks? <laughs> ah, you pooped me <laughs> out. I was th- I was yesterday's dinner. We already had the great mighty Pooh though and Conquer. You're right. Literally, Matt, that question that you just asked us like a developer asking the same goddamn thing, <laughs> like day one Conquer. So um, <laughs> let me see if I got this right. We're gonna have a talking shit mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do I? Can we at least make it funny? It's like the top brass of rare right. with the top hat and monocle. <laughs> it's like indubitably. <laughs> and you know what he had when he? And you know Let what he, the shit say fuck. And you know what he had afterwards? A shit-eating grin when yeah. he saw that money roll in. <laughs> First shots. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to attack the witch now with six moves, with six health bars, and like three minutes into the game, not even close. We're only six minutes in. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna give it time. As soon as we started, we started. I was able to get the time up. What does it say, on, what does it say on game capture? Yeah, <laughs> I can't see. The number's too small here. It's too small. I'm sorry.